And now, the morning rush. Here we go, everything you need to know to get your day started. Danny Travis kicks off your morning rush. CBS 12 News spoke to a Palm Beach Gardens woman who says she visited Harborside Place here behind me back in July and was shocked by that same fountain from the electrocution incident two weeks ago that killed a father of four. She shared photos with us where there appears to be a wire sticking out of the water in that fountain back on July 10th. Police documents say her friend reported to a Harborside Place employee that they got shocked, but the employee was, quote, dismissive, and they may not be the only ones who noticed the problem. Residents in a Palm Beach Gardens community are helping send ambulances to Israel. Residents from Frenchman's Creek sponsored four mobile intensive care units for Israel's emergency medical system. Just one of those ambulances costs about $140,000. Officials say the funds were raised in less than a week. The first three vehicles were fully sponsored within 48 hours. Big changes are coming to the Seminole Hard Rock Casinos. This week, the tribe announced they'd officially be moving forward with expanding casino games. This comes just a week after the Supreme Court rejected an emergency bill to block the sports compact between the tribe and the state of Florida. Still no word on when they plan to relaunch their hard rock betting app and take sports betting online. It's a very windy start to the day. It's going to be windy essentially all day long. Looking in Lake Worth right now. Uh, we're around low tide. High tide's not for another six hours, but you can see the really, really rough surf that we're dealing with. A couple of clouds and showers have been making their way on shore overnight. Most of us are starting off dry, but you might notice some wet roads out there. 63 degrees in Okeechobee. Uh, Bell Glades at 69, 73 in Stewart. As we move through the day, partly cloudy skies. We will see more sunshine a little later, and our temperatures will be in the upper 70s for most of us. Low humidity out there, too. A very comfortable one. And one last look at our roads here. Traffic Tracker 12 is on eastbound Mount Martin Luther King Boulevard in West Palm Beach. We are not seeing any major issues. And before we go, we want to check back in one more time with our Project Thanksgiving Telethon. Yeah, we've teamed up with the United Way of Palm Beach County and the Palm Beach County Food Bank. Kara Duffy's been out there all morning long having a great time. Kara, give us an update. So far, so good, Matt and Sam. I am so impressed by the generosity of our community. We've had a lot of calls coming in this morning, and we certainly hope that there will be many more to come. Our volunteers with the United Way out here ready to answer your calls. Check out that number there. We'll be here through 7 o'clock. Matt, Sam? Yeah, number 561-88. I uh, carry hope uh, to get more phone calls all day long today. Yeah, we will be back with another local update for you in 30 minutes. Have a great day, everyone.